when Tesla first launched the Model S, it came as the 65 or the 85. But things have changed recently, and I have here a Tesla Model S 90D. So 90 stands for 90 kilowatt hours, that's the battery pack, and D stands for dual motor. This is all wheel drive. And one of the weird things, the magic of electricity, adding that extra motor in front means more range. This comes at 288 miles range. And there's a couple of other features too, notably autopilot. So we're gonna take this on the road and try that out. One thing I really like about Tesla is when they built the Model S, they did away with a lot of legacy things you don't need in an electric car. Uh, one of my favorite is there's no start switch or start button in here. Really, when you get in the car, it turns on, you put it in drive, and you go. That's all you really need here. It's pretty cool. Now, I mentioned that this car is the 90D, so it's got two electric motors. There's 259 horsepower at the front, 259 horsepower at the rear. Somehow that works out to 417 horsepower total. It's pretty quick. I'm just taking off here. You can really feel this car take off, that acceleration on the throttle, although you can't really hear it. That's also due to 485 pound-feet of torque from those two electric motors. And the 90 kilowatt hour battery pack helps as well. The handling on this car is also really good. It's got an air suspension, that's an option. And it gives it a very comfortable ride normally, but once you get up to speed on the road, it hunkers down for better aerodynamics. But that also helps the handling. And actually, I gotta tell you, I had this on the track the other day, and it just handled much better than I thought it would. It was really pretty impressive. Now, like the previous Model S's, we've got this huge 17-inch LCD in the center here, and I've got an LCD instrument cluster, which shows my speed in a digital readout. This is a fully connected car. It's actually got a built-in 4G LTE connection. So I'm seeing Google Maps on my main screen here. That's for navigation. I also have some built-in audio sources, some built-in audio apps that also use the internet. Uh, they've got Slacker on there, and one thing I'm kind of disappointed about is that Tesla hasn't added any new apps uh, since they launched the car, really. I, you know, with their over-the-air updates, they should be able to do that pretty easily, so I'm a little disappointed by that. Okay, but let's get to the newest feature here, what Tesla calls Autopilot. This is their driver assistance features. So they've added a lot of sensors to the car, and that enables adaptive cruise control and self-steering. So I have to just pull the stock on the steering column twice. That sets my speed and also sets the self-steering. Uh, the set speed, this car will automatically slow down for traffic up ahead. I'm at 61 miles per hour right now, so it's holding that speed. Uh, more interestingly, the steering wheel is kind of handling the steering by itself. If I look on the instrument cluster here, I can see two blue lines. Those are showing me that it recognizes the lane lines that I'm in. And, uh, you know, I can kind of do this, and it does an amazing job of steering by itself. Uh, this is a really aggressive driver assistance system, more so than other companies have done. And a lot of other cars that I've driven this kind of thing in, they'll sort of ping pong back and forth between the lanes. This one doesn't. It holds the center of the lane really well. And if I want to get really daring, if I'm on a multi-lane road, I can just hit the turn signal and this car will automatically change lanes by itself. It's just really impressive how it does that. As you can see, the 90D is a big improvement for the Model S. This one costs 88,000 base price. Now we had a couple of options like the air suspension and the autopilot feature, and we're looking at over 95 grand. Living with an electric car does mean long recharge times for the battery pack, but take this one home every night, plug it in, in the morning you'll have its full 288 miles range. That should be enough for your commute or any errands you want to run. 